So you walk in, I have a little fountain feature. I want to like write something up there. I just, fonts are hard and I haven't figured it out yet. Um, and to the left is our tortoise enclosure. So let's go take a look. Y'all are lucky. It's early in the zoo. The sun is just risen. There's a lot of people here already though. Um, but this is our tortoise habitat. As you can see, we can zoom in a little bit. We have a bunch of baby tortoises. They've been with us for about 20 years. They're still babies. <laughs> uh, and we have a few adult tortoises too. Hey, Shella. Just hey! making my monthly appearance. Hope oh, you're good. thank you. I hope you're having a good month, Nicole. Thank you for the resub for 20 months. I appreciate it. Um. I resubbed for six months in advance and thought to give gifts to other- Oh my god, ghosties, what the heck? <laughs> you're so nice, thank you. I hope you're having a lovely day. Um, yeah, rock placing simulator. So these are the tortoises, they have a little pond over there. They have a little den back there. Um, super cute. And I am playing franchise mode. Oh my god, I didn't realize how overgrown this was. I'm playing franchise mode, so I can't really- Oh my god. I can't really, like, cheat, um, so all of this is, like, real money. I have, like, 300,000 simoleons. Uh, that's, like, the staff entrance to the enclosure. Uh, you come over here, and let's speed it up a little bit. This is kind of, like, the entry, like, plaza area. There's, like, staff stuff over there. We have information and restrooms. We have loony balloons. We have some food here. All of that fun stuff. This is just kind of like the first place you'd stop by. Happy to be back! It's good to have you! Franchise mode freaks you out. Oh, does it really? Okay, over here we have like a, a mini like Africa exhibit. We have some rhinos and some nyalas, I think are what they're called. Um, so let's go take a look. Oh my god, look, they're coming up close to the the exhibit here. We can say hello. There should be some babies. Look! Look at him. Actually, I think that's a her, but look at how small. I think we have another baby rhino on the way here pretty soon, too. So it's really exciting. Um, they kind of share this, like, slightly larger habitat with, like, a watering hole in the middle. There's some more feeding area over there. Uh, but it's really exciting. <laughs> I've only done sandbox. No, that's fair. That's that's super fair. Uh, this is the Alpha Nyala of the exhibit. And then, so far, we've only had uh, female rhinos born. So we haven't had any issues with that. But we'll see, because I think there's one on the way. Or it might already be here. I'm looking for it. Oh, wait, no. There it is. Never mind. Two babies. It was already born, I forgot. Um, so yeah, that's the that's the rhino enclosure. And it kind of has like this path that winds around a little bit. And then over here is like another like mini courtyard space where there's more food, there's restrooms. Um, uh oh, did y'all bring umbrellas? <laughs> it rains here a lot, so sorry. Um, you know, just another mini food court space. Um, and then over here is actually our raccoon exhibit. And these little guys reproduced instantly. And in that there's so many raccoons running around. It's actually wild. Um, but they don't like having many raccoons in their enclosure. So they're constantly fighting and beating each other up. There's some babies right there. You can kind of see them. They have a little watering hole. Um, there might be a better view of them over here. If we keep going on the path. Everyone hold on. None of them are over here eating yet. I can like hear them. Where are they? Here they come. Hey, little buddy. So tiny. Uh, they have a few like climbing areas and they have like a little, a little den over here that I can show you. Oh my God. They jump in. Yeah, so I guess they're, they're all kind of over here right now. Trash pandas! Yeah, they have a rubber duck too, and they have a little cave down here. So that's where they stay. Um. Rich love. <laughs> hey, thank you for the resub for nine months, Laura. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. 
I had this fence looks like it doesn't hold them in, right? I gave them a different fence, but they climbed over it. But for some reason, this fence keeps them in. So I was like, whatever. I don't, I don't understand it. But uh, yeah. So we have little little trash pandas. Their jumping is so cute. Looks like they're over here eating now. Are you kidding me? Look at how small it is. Oh my god. It's just a baby. It's full of holes. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Um, but yeah, so that's our whole zoo. So we have tortoises, rhinos, nyalas, and I think they're called nyalas, right? Yeah, nyalas and raccoons. So I don't know what's next on the list, but we are in a place to adopt a new animal. Um, also, I don't know if I said thanks for your sub, Laura, but thank you. <laughs> Uh, video game magic, that's how. I was gonna do a thing today where each sub was, uh, you got to name something. Um, so, I don't know though. I don't know if I can keep up with that. Everyone, there was a lot of subs, but I don't know. I guess if you sub and you want to name something, let me know. You can name anything. Like, you can name an animal, you can name a trash can, you can name a rock, a building, a staff member. Uh, just let me know. So yeah. It's funny seeing these guys in a zoo. They're all over where I live. They're one of the new animals, so I wanted to get them. They came with the new, uh, like, nighttime pack that just came out. So I was excited to see them. Like, it looks like he can just walk through that, but he's not gonna. Um, I want this game so bad, but I can't bring myself to buy it unless I buy all the DLC with it. Well, they go on sale quite a bit, so maybe you can find a good deal. Gifted subs as well, yeah. Um, but yeah. No, I'm gonna do it based on today because I won't be able to remember anything from yesterday. Also, I didn't stream yesterday. I'm humbly requesting to name a raccoon Stinky. You got it, Egg Babe. I'll try my best to keep track of it, but I don't I don't know how it's gonna go. Elixir A, what do you wanna name? Do you wanna name this duck ghosties? Hi, Purple! How are you? You're my hero. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, there will probably be a Black Friday sale. Can I be the duck? Can it be Ghosty? Yes. Ghosty the duck. You're welcome. I might move the, uh... The U-code down... To a different corner. Maybe here is a good corner for her. It's so hard when, like, games are all different, you know what I mean? Um, I want to name something Grace. Yeah, what do you want to name Grace? Let me know. I would like a trash panda named Mary. All right, let's see. Um, This is Mary. Here you go. Name a tortoise Grace after me, please. You got it. You've got it. Grace, you are 39 years old. <laughs> yeah, Black Friday's coming soon. Hey, Orca, how are you? So yeah, any any sub or gift sub, you can name something. Um, just let me know. Uh oh. Animal has escaped. Definitely not escaped. It was probably because it was like right here. Let me just fix that really quick. Um, koala Courtney. <laughs> this way I will live forever. Pretty true, pretty true. I'm new here, welcome in. Uh oh. We have the alpha fighting off against the non-alpha. Someone just grew up. Wait, we actually have a couple young studs now. Uh, I might have to put these two away until the older one dies. Oh, cannot connect to franchise server. Please check your internet connection. What? How, how am I offline? Okay, it worked. <laughs> Literally, how am I offline? 
Can you name a rhino city after my cat? You got it. <sighs> I'm still here. That was scary. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. But yeah, it's because there can only be like one male alpha in this habitat. Oh my god. It's like glitching. I might have to like close and reopen it. Weird. I'll just save pretty frequently. Hopefully that will fix it. Um, hey, Calvary, thank you for the follow. Score riches for Olivia. Welcome in. But yeah, I, I hand placed all of these rocks and everything in this in this habitat here. What do y'all think? Rock placing simulator. Pretty proud of it. I think it makes it look really cool. Um, did you resub today, Pam? Sorry, I have to scroll. It's so laggy. Oh my god, it's not doing it. Why is it not? Sorry, I can't remember. Oh, it's for uh, it's for today's resubs, Pam. Today's subs are resubs. If I were to say like literally at any time, I would not be able to keep track of that. So it's literally just today's. Oh, Pam was gifted a sub by you. Oh, so it's the sub gifter that gets to name things. Yeah, sorry. I, I don't know if I made that clarification, but hopefully hopefully that makes sense. I'm trying to decide what I want, what animal we want to get next. Should we vote together? Should we take a look? Amazing, never been done before. There's like some new animals we could look into. I feel like if we build a habitat over here, it should be something foresty or jungly. And if we build something over here, it can be more deserty. I don't know. Yeah, no worries. Koala, obviously. I'm not doing koalas. Not right now. There's so many animals that I haven't played with yet. Like, I don't know if I've done the otters. Ducks? I don't think you can have ducks in this game. I don't know if they let you do ducks. Y'all think otters would be cute? Should we do otters? O slash for otter. We'll see how many people are into that. Otter is a good choice. Okay. So I feel like we could put their habitat over here since it's kind of like jungly. So maybe, maybe we can do like a little otter habitat. I feel like it would be really fun to make it so that people could go and like look at them underwater. What do y'all think about that? Like a little, a little underwater viewing area maybe? I think that's kind of exciting. Otters hold hands when they sleep? That's literally adorable. Also, where did the sun go? I don't like building when it's this dark. But I guess I can get started. We can start deciding, like, how we want this to go. Um, okay, so I have to be careful of... There's, like, a den under here, so I can't actually use this space. Um, so let's keep our... Let's keep our eyes out for that. It's gonna be your birthday in-game soon? Oh, exciting! Okay. Okay, these guys won't stop reproducing. I'm starting to get a little worried. Hold on. I'm gonna need you to take a contraceptive, bud. Yeah. I also made the turtles take a contraceptive because this was after one batch of babies. We had like four little babies in there, so I was like, nope. <laughs> Otters are vicious. Yeah, aren't they, like, super vicious? Like, scary? I don't know. <gasps> Hi, Kenya. How are you? I'm kind of thinking... I almost want to, like, make it so that this will waterfall into here, but I don't know how to do that. I'm gonna see if I can get it to work. Like, maybe we can have a little bit of a... peninsula or something or an island little viewing area i want the otter exhibit to be a little bit 
large for their size. Like, they don't need this much space, but I'm gonna give them space. Okay. Hi, Lindsay, how are you? I think I'll do something like this. And then we can make like a central little area. We could do like a, a guest bridge over to here. I think that's kind of exciting. Small little bridge. A little heart. We can kind of make it in the shape of a heart maybe. What about that? A little heart island. I like that. <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Yeah, they're little carnivores. They're they're little fierce little guys. They're not nice. Okay, we're gonna need an area for underwater viewing. Um, and I'm not totally sure how we're gonna do that. Because I feel like I want there to be water here. Maybe we can do the underwater viewing area somewhere over here too. So we're going to want water, and it, we're going to want it to be really deep for the otters to dive. So, probably something along the lines of this. Um, thank you for the lurks! It's true, Huffle, it's true. <gasps> Yo! Uh, this anniversary was unexpected. Congrats to me, I think. Congrats to me! <laughs> well, thank you, Ghosties, for your three-month resub. Um, that's funny that it happened today. Congrats to you. The timing is always weird, isn't it? Um, I love watching people play Planet Zoo, but I'm always intimidated to play it myself. I feel like you should just go for it. I love watching people play Planet Zoo at any skill level. I think it's really fun to watch people, like, discover this game. It's a lot of fun. Like, like I said, I've been watching my friend Sayer play Planet Zoo, and it's been really cool watching her, like, build and be creative. Because she does things that I would never think to do, and then I'm like, oh my god, gaming. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> I need to do that. Um, so yeah. Uh, Trainer Gina, thank you for the follow. It's gorgeous for Olivia. Welcome in. You don't like terrain tools? Oh, my heart. Terrain tools are like my favorite. Ah, I love them so much. They're so good. That's a good entry. I recently got Planet Zoo and it's a blast still figuring out all the building. Hey, Katie, I'm good. Hello, hello. Yeah, there's a sandbox mode. Right now, I'm playing franchise mode because I find sandbox mode... Sometimes I get a little bored because there's, like, no... It's not a challenge. It's, like, you do whatever you want, which is fun. But um, sometimes for me, that gets a little boring. Um, so this time, I decided to do franchise. But, like, literally, I play sandbox a lot, too. So it's... I play both modes. Get this ground a little roughened up. Um, I think that's enough water. Like, if I were to do water like that, and then I want to make this an entryway, so I need to, like, smoothen it out enough for them to get out of the water over here. Yeah. See? So that's kind of the vibe. And then back behind here would be their land area in their shelter um yeah and i almost want to like no not that i almost want to like create like some kind of rapids running down here along the side of the the exhibit there so we'll see what we can do hey dinosaur welcome in don't worry there's no such thing as late 
I love terrain tools, but I'm not good with them. I actually made a terrain tool tutorial for Plant Zoo like years ago. It's still on my YouTube channel if you want to check it out. It might help. I don't know. Or it might not, but maybe it would. Hey, Miss Red Raccoon, how are you? Yeah, it is, Emma. It's like Zoo Tycoon 2. I played that all the time as a child, but it's like on steroids. Like, it's so good. That was like my hyperfixation game as a child. Do you find it easier to do the terrain before building the walls? Yes, I like to do the terrain first and then I build the walls. Um, that's just my way of doing it. Sometimes people like to just build like square enclosures, which is totally valid because it's easy. Um, but I like to do enclosures like, I don't know. An example would be something like this where it's very dynamic and it feels kind of natural. I have this stream playing while watching Korea Legacy episode 49. Nice. Do I start with a pre-build build or start from scratch? Uh, I don't know if you would call this a pre-built zoo, but it had like this terrain in it already. Um, it's not flat, but I, I did start with like nothing in the zoo, if that makes sense. But there are um, tutorial zoos that I think are super helpful if you're new to the game. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, tutorials are stupid. Like, I don't think you're going to be saying that if you're playing this game. You're going to be like, please give me a tutorial. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> like, this game, you need the tutorial. <laughs> Do the tutorial is what I'm saying. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Um, I think the people that made Zoo Tycoon made Planet Zoo. Uh, I don't actually know if that's true. Did Frontier make Zoo Tycoon? I don't actually know. Planet Zoo! Hey, Guru! <laughs> Interesting. No, what I'm gonna do here instead then is just make it bigger. to do this bridge from here instead. Oh, I think I like that a little bit better. It's a little wonky right here, but I think I can get over that. What do we think? Is it vibes? Then we can do a little viewing area over here. I don't like this shape here. This needs to be more curved. Um. I guess that's okay. The raccoons are so loud. I can like hear them chittering. Yeah, with some landscaping, some plants, just think like big picture. I've been doing this zoo with a specific pathing system, if y'all haven't noticed. Um, I have like these main stone paths, but then like for the exhibits, I have these like tinier paths that kind of offshoot. And I think I really like how this is working. 
because then like the traffic isn't bad. Like if people just want to like keep walking by, they can walk by or if they want to go look at this animal, they can kind of like stop off to the side. You know what I mean? Can kind of see how it works. I think it's I think it's working really well. I need to get more creative in this game. It allows for a lot of creativity. Like this game, I always say has a high skill cap because it's like you can do so much in it. Like, I'm not even that great at it, honestly. I'm not. Um, but, like, I try my best, you know? Um, hey, Teddy, thank you for the follow. Get some scratches for Olivia. Welcome in. Okay, let me get rid of the water really quick because what we're going to do is create an underground viewing area over here. And in order to do that, I need to do a glass barrier. Hi, Tesquila, what's up? Okay. One way glass. I wonder if I can get it all in like one swoop. A little bit less. Yeah, I think we can work with that. That's pretty good. I'm actually quite pleased with that. Okay. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. All right. Now this is me kind of defining the boundaries of the habitat. Yeah, we're working on otters right now. We're doing like an otter habitat with an underwater viewing area and a central viewing area, which is a little bit more complicated of a habitat, I would say. It's not a very simple one to do. <laughs> so we're jumping right in. We're right in the crack. Okay, let's get our um, wooden gate. I'll just put it there for now. And I think I can just connect this staff path. I might see if I can connect it to this one here. Because that would be really good if I could just have that be an extended one. But I also might just make a few staff buildings back in this area. We'll, we'll decide on that later. Ducks would be so cute. I agree. Okay, one of our raccoons is having a baby. Good times. Okay. So now with this, what I need to do is just make it taller. And bring this terrain to cover it. Do you see that? So now it's kind of like a window that looks into a cave. Like the underwater viewing area. Hi, thank you, Jesse. Am I playing with the new pack? Yes, we do have the new pack. Uh, I put raccoons in. Do you want to see them, Emily? Or, you no, know, you have the pack, but I can still show them if you want to see them. <laughs> I was like wondering if you wanted to see them, but no, you, you have the pack. You have it. I can still show them off. Okay. Sorry, I'm like so focused right now. Can you tell? <laughs> can you tell how focused I am? Oh, it's gonna be a nightmare. Getting this to work. But now, if I put water in, you'll see that it works. It goes like this, and then we'll have guests over here. That will be able to come down here 
and uh, look in and see the otters swimming around. Isn't that fun? Hi, Karita. Hey, besties. Impending hurricane knocked out my Wi-Fi, which stinks because I was looking forward to playing a zoo. I will stay while I can. Oh, Mello, I'm so sorry. So sorry. At least the VOD will be there. Stay safe. How is this game? I got the base game with my husband's humble bundle. All right, Snow Selena, my first question is, have you ever played Zoo Tycoon? And if the answer to that is yes, and you enjoyed Zoo Tycoon, this game is like gonna be your favorite game in the world. That's all. This game is incredible. I feel like it doesn't get enough, enough love for how advanced it is. Like, I think The Sims 5 is going to take a note out of Planet Zoo's book on how they do their building. Um, from what we saw with the Sims 5 stuff, it looked like they were allowing similar uh, rotations and like placements that they do in Planet Zoo already. So, Planet Zoo paved the way. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Stay safe. One day I'll have the time to go back, to get back into this game. I love it so much. I know, it's like so hard. You just want to play it so bad. I don't actually know if they'll like that tree. I might have to move it. Looks like the sun's going to start going down soon. Uh, I hope so. The building in this game looks really good. It is. Like, if you ever go to the Steam Workshop for this game, people are so creative with what they make. It's absolutely wild. Like, I, I have this place over here because I want to figure out how to use it. But, like, someone made an entire font system out of, like, objects. And I, like, I want to use this font in my zoo. I just am stupid and don't know how to do it. We'll see. Uh, we're building an enclosure for otters right now. Otter habitat. Um, okay, so I need to get... A path that goes down underground. Uh, that's gonna be so not fun. Steam Workshop uploads actually built differently. Yeah, they're absolutely insane. I'm like, oh my god. These people are incredible. Do I want to do like a water path? We could. We could literally have like a cute little like... I'm going to be really picky here. Won't it let me do that? No, you're just being homophobic right now. There we go. Subscribe to your YouTube. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. We have so many good friends in chat, by the way. Um, if we could get, I think we got a shout out for Egg Babe, but if we could also get a shout out for Emily too. Go follow my besties. Thank you. The talent raw, untouched. The pathing system is the only thing I don't like about this game. Yeah, there's like... I see the pop-up that says join us in following Emily. And for a second I was like, do I not follow Emily? But then I mouse over it and it says I am following Emily. So why did it show up for me? I was like, oh, fake fan. I'm a fake fan. Oh my god, no. No, because this right here, that's homophobic. Yeah, the pathing system in this game is a little bit of a nightmare. I'll be the first to say it. 
um, is pretty bad. <laughs> no, I don't want you to attach there. I don't. Okay. There, I can do like some kind of flowers in the middle there or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Shows up for everyone, but I think no button if you follow it already. Yeah, but then why did it show up for me? I don't know. Um, also, Snow Selena and Jess, thank you for the follow. Scritches for Olivia, welcome in. Um, I've never heard of this game somehow. As an ancient dinosaur who loved the tycoons, always thought Sue Tycoon was underrated. Thank you for this gift. You're welcome. You're so welcome for showing you the light. It's my honor. My true pleasure. Okay, so now I'm gonna make it so that this path can tunnel. Um, because that's what we need for an underwater viewing system. Terrain modification failed. What if I told you you failed? Huh? How would you feel? Drop the link. I'm dying. You made Zoo Tycoon music videos when you were a kid? That's iconic, Giru. Why is it not letting me go down? Let me go figure out how to build a tunnel really quick. Did I have railing on ground? Railing on elevated? Okay, yes, that's what I wanted. This is what I wanted. And this, this is what I got. Tell me why. No, it's because it's it's because there's stuff underneath it. It's being weird. Maybe it'd be easier if I just dug the tunnel out manually. Yeah, me too. Me too, Jess. <laughs> Hi, Tessa. We're playing Planet Zoo today. Yay, big day. Or do I start from the underground? Okay. Okay. Yes. No. No. Maybe if I do it over here. Okay. Why did it fail? Why did your terrain modification fail? I just want it to succeed. Oh, oh, oh! 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 <laughs> no, please. Mm. Almost. Almost got it. I'm stressed. Why is it doing this? Why is it doing this? Do like watching this? Is this the content that you love? That you look forward to? Now this water filter is going to make guests angry, though. They're going to walk by and be like, I can't believe they have functional equipment in this zoo. How dare they? Do I? I feel like I could do this better. 
I don't know. It's upsetting me. Like, this is cool, but like, I feel like I could do that better. Yeah, they do. They're like, I can't believe... I can't believe they would show off this equipment in guest sight. You're making me want to try and redo my zoo. I am. You want to redo your zoo after watching me struggle? I don't know about that, bestie. That might be masochism. Thank you for reminding me of this game. I haven't touched it in so long. You're welcome. Happy to help. Okay, no more tunneling. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Just get on the ground. Oh my god. How does this turn into this? This is what I wanted. And this is what I got. No. Okay. Try from main road now. I think I think that's actually pretty good. I think that's pretty good. This is why we rage quit Planet Zoo and never touch it again. I'm not gonna lie, these stairs, IRL, so steep. Definitely a hazard. Um, don't let your grandma come down here. But like, maybe, maybe I can make them less steep. Hold on everyone, I'm a perfectionist. Buckle up. Don't know how I feel about that either. I had 100% fall down. Uh... Hey, have you all seen that new otter exhibit? I hear people go down there and never come back up. So mysterious. Let's go check it out. Okay, I like it, but here's the problem, right? Negative impact on guests. I guess I'm gonna be moving this anyways, though, because I want, like, to make this path connect to this. So, I think that's fine. I think that's okay. This is why we hide our sins with plants. Oh yeah, we are 100% going to be uh, very much hiding a lot of this with um, plants, in fact. The negative circle I'm moving? Uh, the negative circle was, like, guest impact, where, like, they'll be like, Ew, there's ugly stuff in the zoo. Like, the guests don't want to see any facilities, basically, which I think is ridiculous. Like, if you go to a zoo, how do you think it runs? 
like, what do you think is at the zoo? Do you think it's just animals? That's kind of fun, though. You go down this, like, leafy tunnel. I need to move this over a little. It's a little too big. That's kind of exciting. People are already going down there. There's nothing down there. Like, I don't know where you think you're going. Happy 13 months, friends. Yo, Han, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. I'm gonna add railings, though. Because, like, that, that makes sense to me that there would be, like, railings on this path. Um... I'm also putting railings down here just to keep people on the path and like not derping off around the otters. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to try to make this look less rough as well. Um, I'm going to try to build like, uh oh, can't move that because of this. I'm gonna try to build like a frame around this to make it look a little bit more supported. Let's go! Hi Taylor! Y'all are just in time. I'm making an underwater viewing area that people are already going into when there's no animals down there. Can they even make it all the way down there? Okay, I need you. You. You're gonna be my test subjects. I'm putting you down here. Why won't it let me? There we go. Can you get out? Okay. I forget how short the guests are. Yeah, they can get out. Okay. Good. It is cool. It is. Like, there will be a sign like, ooh, underwater over here. And people can just, like, go that way. I think that's exciting. Um, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna add railings over here too just to keep people from jumping into the enclosure yeah you can drag people around if you need to like if they're being dumb you can move them okay well it's been like an hour of stream and we don't have any new animals in is this a typical plan and zoo stream or what let's go it takes me forever to get that stuff, but I think it's, like, kind of exciting to see the whole process, you know? I'm pretty sure y'all are into this, so. Um, hey, Mel! How are you? I think I'll put some staff buildings back here, too. Because I feel like the staff center we have currently is a little... A little bit too far. Um, off to the side. So... Yeah, I'm gonna have this meet up over here. So I might as well just place this down here instead. There we go. No way! Just move it over here. Do I up upload the VODs anywhere? You know, I haven't uploaded my Planet Zoo VODs. Um, I don't know. I have been uploading my VODs in general to my YouTube channel, but I don't know if I play Planet Zoo enough to where I should upload the VODs. I'll think about it. Animals can escape their exhibits if the barriers are broken. It's true. 
That's why that's why I don't give them breakable fences half the time. I I make my own fences and they like don't decay. And then I never have to have a mechanic come over and uh, fix it because I find it really annoying when they're like, oh, the fence broke. Well, why didn't you build it better in the first place? Aren't there old VODs? Um, the VODs get deleted after like 60 days, so probably not. I don't think I've played this game in 60 days. Um, but I don't know, maybe. They don't last forever though, is what I'm saying. Whatever. I'll think about it, I'll think about it. Thank you for letting me know that you're interested. Okay, I don't like the lighting right now. It's too aggressive. Uh, I do need to buy the otters though, so I guess let me do that. Um... All right, terrible genetics. Not much better. All right, I have two otters now. Um, let me set up a staff center back here. Oh, it's the building song chat. No, I'm on franchise right now. Building song. Oh, no, I don't think those are VODs. I think I was, like, actually recording a series. Building song, building song. This is a building song. Um, let me get a staff room. There we go. Okay, let's bring one of the otters over. The way I make what the heck. The way I make my, um, habitats is by bringing the animals in and seeing if they like it. So I'm going to put it down here. It will be able to run out, but I'm going to just pause the game. Yeah, no worries. Thanks, Karita. Thanks for the alert. I'd also like them on YouTube, but no pressure. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you all enjoy them. I'll see about it. I just don't know. I feel I feel like it's weird if I like upload a Planet Zoo VOD and then like don't play the game for a while. But maybe it's not that weird. Maybe I'm just thinking it's weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. I'd believe it. Okay, the otter will be here soon. And just a reminder that today we are going to be taking a look at some O's. So if you all look at the one I posted today, I made it an animal O because we're playing Planet Zoo today. So make sure you post your animals. I posted Olivia. Pretty obvious that I would, but you know. Oh, it's here. Uh-oh. Okay, pause the game. Hey, you little buddy. All right. Let me just confirm. You can escape from here, basically, is our breaching point, which I, I totally get. Um, what kind of fence should I use? I'm thinking I might want to use the one... I honestly might just use this one. Again, I like how it looks. It's very simple. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to get this fence down just in this area so that I can feel confident that the otter isn't going to be running around. 
and then we'll be able to get started on all the landscaping stuff, which is fun. I'm not quite sure why the ground is weird over here. What games is everyone else playing today? I feel like most of you are probably playing The Sims, right? I could be wrong. Alright, let's just cap it off like this. That way it can't get out. I'm playing Animal Crossing? Nice! Disney Dreamlight Valley? Oh, that's another good one. Oh, you're playing SOS Poot? Two Point Campus! Oh, that's a game I've been meaning to look into. It looks good. You're sitting here working? Oh, not fun. Okay, let me double check its walking area now. Cool! Alright, just as I figured. I just want the sun to go up a little bit. You're finishing up an assignment for uni. Nice, Coral Island. You're back on Planet Zoo because of this stream. Oh, yay! Hi, Mariah. Hello. I want the sun to rise. So I can start landscaping. Then I guess I'll bring the other otter in, too. The Sims! I'm playing Can I Finish the Sweater Before the Weekend? Oh, good luck. Alright. It's swimming around in there. That's exciting. Okay. I feel like that's enough light. I can finally get started. I look nice. Thank you! I'm glad you like my top. Hello. Uh, also, KK, thank you for the follow. Score just for Olivia. Welcome in. I restarted my Animal Crossing Island a while back. I've been on my fishing grind to catch all the ones that I can't until next month. Good, very good. Good luck with your fishing grind. Alright, these little cuties are not happy. They don't like this tree. Let me get rid of that. The Asia Tropical Aquatic Grassland. These are the types of plants they'll take. So let's get started, shall we? Uh, also, Hysteria, thank you for the follow. Score riches for Olivia, welcome in. Yeah, I'm excited for the otters too. Very excited. They do like a lot of coverage, which makes me happy because I really like doing a lot of decorations in builds. I should really be starting with like trees or something to be honest. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're, we're doing otters right now. We have otters and we have this like little underwater viewing area for them too, which I think looks really good. Maybe we can get some lights down there too to like help brighten things up. Lipstick palm. These look cool, but I don't know if I'm going to use them. I like these mangrove trees, though, so I think I will be using these. I really like how those look. This will be good at, like, hiding our staff gate. Yeah. You just started Animal Crossing for the first time. Isn't it such a good game? It's really cozy. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Okay. Uh, olive trees. Oh, these are interesting. Kind of thick, though. I don't know if I want that. Eucalyptus tree. Um, sorry, my mom just texted me. Uh, tomato vines? No. A willow tree! Should I do a willow tree? 
I feel like that's a good one. Uh, I never have my sim go to college, but that's totally something you could do if you wanted to. Totally up to you. Ooh, I like that. Yo, Megan, thank you for the 23 months. I can't believe it's almost been two years. Thank you for coming back to my stream. It means a lot. Thank you. I hope you're having a good day. Hey, I hope you're having a good day, Mind of Lean. Yeah, who's your favorite Animal Crossing villager? That's always a good question. We'll judge you completely based on what your answer is. Do these guys float? Or do they go down below? I almost feel like they should go down here. Yeah, rock placing stream. Let's get some foliage down here. Any foliage fondlers in chat? We get some good coverage up in here. The soundtrack is so good. Did y'all see that they sent me a record, like a vinyl record of the soundtrack for their anniversary? I was like, oh my god. It's like the coolest thing ever. I even have a record player on accident, so I think I'd be able to listen to them. Okay, these ones have flowers, so I'm going to put a few of these around. Can I set these up? Pampering cookie. Those are cuties. My favorite villager is Lily. But I think that's like kind of obvious because I have like a lot of Lily stuff. Like I even have a Lily pillow in my background, so. Oh, mint's a good one. On accident. Yeah, it was a... Uh, so in the house I used to live in, they had a new person move into my room. And that person had a record player, and for some reason it got put with, like, my stuff that I had left that they needed to mail me. So then they mailed me a record player, and I was like, oh, this is not mine. So, uh, I have one now. <laughs> I guess. Funny how that happens. Oh yeah, I like this stuff, too. This stuff is really... Really good. Very big patches of grass. Lily is the cutest. But also I'm biased, so. <laughs> I'm so purple today, thank you. I'm glad you noticed. I am in fact very purple today. I'm trying to like dress more in my aesthetic. So I got a lot of purple clothes recently. I hadn't bought myself new clothes since like high school. So I guess, you know, it's finally time. Bye. See you later, Jet. I hope you drive safe. <laughs> You're wearing a purple top too. Very good. Very good. Strangler fig tree. Oh, I kind of like how these look. They're kind of quirky. They're kind of not like other trees. Maybe I get a couple of those. Debating on getting Molly on your island. Ooh, Molly's a good choice. She's a cutie. Oh, look at these cute flowers. Are you kidding me? Yes, I would love to put these in. They're so pretty. 
just put a couple in. Not like other trees. They're so quirky. Um, I'm looking. Don't know if there's much else. Oh, maybe cattails. Cattails might be really good for like our shallow areas, especially. I have to be careful though, because if I put too many, they won't be able to like access anything. So I have to be careful at how many cattails I put down. You have to travel more. I just ha dyed my hair purple after trying lots of other colors and it's absolutely my, my favorite. I think I'm keeping it for the foreseeable. Yes, join the club. Purple is the best color. I'm glad you finally realized that. <laughs> How did I become the goblin queen? Well, my community is the goblins, right? So once you join the community, you're a goblin. And I'm just the queen, you know? There's got to be a goblin queen, and it's going to be me. This is how I found you! Planet Zoo Day! Yes! Very good! Reminiscing. I was just curious about the goblin part. Ah, yeah, we're, we're just called the goblin horde. So it goes with the, goes with the name. A little goblin boy. Very good. I watched your Halloween Among Us VOD as background noise today because I watched Kayla's live and it's fun seeing a different perspective afterwards. I enjoyed it a lot. Oh, yay. Yeah, I like watching um, all of the different VODs from everyone because when I'm playing, I only see my perspective, but then it's fun to like see other people play too and see what was happening at certain times. So I'm glad you enjoyed it. Are you serious, Dandelion? That's so funny. <laughs> we are. Any goblins? Okay. There's also bamboo, which I feel like is kind of fun. But I don't know if I want to actually use it because it does take up a lot of space. Maybe I just plant it, like, around the island, like this. I think that's kind of exciting, because then it makes the island feel a little more secretive, maybe? Like, ooh, I want to go across the bridge and see what's happening. I've been rewatching the Among Us one from recently. It's been so fun. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah, I have to remember to upload the New Year's Among Us VOD because I never did. But y'all said you want to see it, so I gotta upload that. I think it looks good. I think it's kind of fun. All right. Yeah. Let's get some more lily pads in there. forgot how good the graphics are for this. Aren't they like absolutely insane? They're so good. Thank you. Also, one last reminder that if you have not posted an animal ooh today on my on my ooh that I made, make sure you do that because I think we're going to take a look after we finish um, the foliage of this exhibit. So the exhibit won't be done yet, but we'll we'll take a quick little a quick little break to look at the community's pets, and uh, then we'll hop back in and do some like hardscaping stuff. And like, I plan on making like a little trickling stream kind of waterfall situation. So 
If you want to know how to make a, a waterfall, you won't want to miss that. You will definitely want to be there for that. Olivia's ready. Hi, Miss Siv J. How are you? No, I haven't put anything in here yet except for, like, plants. So, there's a lot of stuff that we still need to add. One step at a time. No, they actually are on Android now. So, you can go and check and see if it's available in your uh, country. Because it's not out everywhere. There are a few people that are like, oh, it's not in my country yet. But you'll be able to go ahead and look and see if you can get it. But yes, it's finally on Android. Is it available on PC? No, it's a mobile app. As far as I'm aware, it is not available on PC. Yes, very good, Spice. I'm expecting to see your lovely pets very soon. Time's ticking. Yeah, it is! It's on Android! Get it now! Hurry! Oh man, we're gonna have so many Gobbo pets. I'm so excited. I know a lot of you are waiting for Android. It's gonna be so good. Okay. I think those are good spots for lily pads. When I tell you I sprinted, yes. Fast as I've moved in a long time. All right. Oh, that's kind of pretty, but like, also kind of weird. Don't know if I like it. <laughs> Isn't she being a cutie? Also, just real quick, thank you all for uh, watching my Planet Zoo stream today. I know it's not one of my normal games that I play, but I feel like these types of streams are the ones where you get to connect a little bit more. <laughs> so thanks for being here. Very good. Oh, thank you. I'm glad that you've liked it, Shania. Thank you. Okay. I feel pretty okay at the moment. I might want to find, like... Maybe this could be it. For a bush. I need, like, a bushy type plant. And I think the fig tree might be perfect for it. Just so we have some, like, bush-type shapes. There we go. Oh, maybe I should double-check that I haven't overfilled their habitat. Um, I have overfilled their habitat. Uh-oh! Um, they might just have to live with that, honestly. Because I don't want to get rid of everything I just did, so... I think they're fine. Actually. Just a little. Just, I just went overboard just a little bit. They'll be okay, right? <laughs> oh, thank you, NC Stone. I appreciate it. Okay, well, so my plan is to add like a little trickling stream that kind of comes down from here that kind of feeds into this water but we're gonna go ahead and look at some community o's first are y'all ready i think their terrain is good too yeah they're happy with it so we'll do that really quick let me save because my game has been kind of sussy It's so beautiful. I really like water habitats because I think that like 
the water in this game looks so good. Yeah, no, that's that's so fair. This game can destroy your computer. Like, look at how, look at how much is in there. How can you overwhelm a habitat? Well, there's some animals that don't like a lot of plants, but I feel like this is decent. I, I don't think that it's too much. I think they're being dramatic, to be quite honest with you. I think they have plenty of space to swim around. Look at this little guy. He's a little, he's a little torpedo. Okay, let's go over. Let me open up the app really quick. All right. Shall we resume? Oh, I think we shall. We need to get some stuff for these otters. Asian small clawed otters. Oh my god, why is it so fast? Chill, 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 chill. <gasps> Look, they're swimming! Oh, this is exciting times for us. I need to get them, like, a fish feeder box. I think I'll put one, like, right here. So that way it's, like, kind of really close to the window. So hopefully they'll get to see it. Also, Lirio, thank you for redeeming scritches for Olivia. Thank you. Um, and I don't think I need to get them a water pipe because they can just drink the water they're swimming in, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I just need to make sure it's being filtered, but I think it is. I need to buy a zookeeper really quick, too, before I forget. Let's hire a keeper. Let's hire a caretaker. Let's hire a mechanic. And we'll just have those people make a new work zone. We'll call this otters. Um, otters. Olivia looks very content. She is! Yes, I can name an otter cookie for you. Yeah, so if y'all missed it today, any subs or resubs from today's stream, you get to ask to rename something. So, um, if you want to name something, let me know. You can gift subs too to name something. Oh, do you want- I'll name the boy cookie then. Oh, wait. Sorry, I did the wrong thing. Uh... I guess this is fine. <laughs> I don't know where the boy is. Oh well. <laughs> There's a balloon flying up. That's cute that he looks like a chunky otter. Okay. So I'm gonna call the zookeeper- hello? Um, hello? Um, yeah, that's what I thought. That otter's magical. Cookie is magical. Jesus, otter. That was weird. Okay, people are not coming down here yet. And that's fine. We'll get them down here. We definitely need an education board. I'll put it over here. Your cookie would sink. <laughs> uh, Alright, Asian small clawed otter. Let's get a donation box down here. I'll put it like by the exit so when they leave they can donate. Let me get another donation box here and here. Here, and then I should probably put one like here I would think um, I probably need some more education devices too so I think I'll put one right here for otters what do y'all think of this habitat by the way uh oh no power it's about drive it's about power
Why the heck is it doing this? What? Why is it saying that one of the animals has escaped? Oh my god! How did you get up there? What? <laughs> how did it get up here? <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. Hey, Kayla, thank you for the resub for 29 months. This is embarrassing. I don't want you to see my otter out of my habitat. Maybe they can climb? No, I think I made sure it was pretty, uh, pretty airtight for now while we're still editing it. I don't know though. Let me let me just pause it just in case. Um. Oh my God. We are now, we are ah! now being raided. Kayla. Thank you for the raid. Welcome on in, everybody. Oh my gosh. Olivia just left. She's literally like down there eating food. Um. Bad timing. I know that's why you raid me. I'm so sorry. She heard you were coming and was like, bye. Uh, but thank you for the raid. Welcome on in. Uh, my name is Shella. I use she, her pronouns. And today we're playing Planet Zoo, um, which is a really cool game. How many of you have never seen this game before? Because I'm about to give you a 30 second ad on this game. <laughs> Handmade. Um, it's so good. I think you'll enjoy it because we're all simmers here, right? We all love the sims. So I'm about to, I'm about to open your eyes to a beautiful game. Um, but seriously, thank you for the raid. I hope you had fun. Um, I hope the legacy is going well and everything's going great. <laughs> no murders are happening, but knowing Simsy, there was probably a murder in the pond at least once today. <laughs> You're playing it right now. No way. No way. Also, thank you for all the follows. Welcome in. I, uh, normally give my cat scratches for every follow, but she abandoned us, so... Um, but I'm going to give you a little tour on the game. So if you've ever played a game called like Zoo Tycoon, um, I don't know about y'all, but when I was younger, I played Zoo Tycoon 2 all the time. And this game is like that, but on steroids. Um, it is incredible. <laughs> she nearly barbecued her dog. I'm sorry, what? A sim died of old age. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so basically this game is like Zoo Tycoon. Also, she's back. So here, for every follow, she gets a little scritch. But since a lot of you are following, I'm just going to do a group scritch right now. So get in. Get in here now. <laughs> Zoo Tycoon 2 is my favorite game ever as a kid. It literally, I played it all the time, Hope. It was my favorite game ever. Um, Little Dika, thank you for the resub as well. I really appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Good girl, good girl. Do you want to show? Do you want to show yourself off to the chat? They rated us. Come on, turn around. Turn around. There you go. I do a little a little maneuver on her, and it confuses her. She's like, "What's going on?" There we go. I got her to face you. <laughs> turn around. <laughs> so this is Olivia. Um, and I love her so much. Thank you for all the follows. She really appreciates the scratches. Um, she's a big Planet Zoo fan as well. So this is my zoo. I'll put it on play for now. I have tortoises so far. Look, there's some babies in here. Look at how tiny they are. Are you kidding me? Are you joking me at how small they are? They're literally so cute and tiny. And then over here, I have a bigger habitat full of rhinos. And these things called Nyalas. Look, here's the two baby rhinos. Look at them. They're babies. I love them so much. Um, and then the Nyalas kind of look like gazelles from like Lion King. So uh, yeah, they kind of all live over here. We have way too many of these. So I gave the alpha male contraceptive. So he stops uh, woohooing and stops making more because we have too many. Um, so yeah, the graphics are so good. I'm not even on the highest graphics because I can't stream at the same time on the highest graphics. It crashes my computer because it's so good. It's tittles. Oh my God. Not tittles. Are you kidding me? 
Shiny, one of them tittles. Today I said that for every sub and resub, I would let someone name an animal, but obviously I missed a lot of them. However, Lil Simsy did resub. Do you think this is what she would want? Do you think do you think tittles is what she would want? Yeah. <laughs> I think I think I'll I'll name one of them tittles for her. Antonio, your name is now Tittles. There we go. In honor of Lil Simsy, who is the biggest Peppa fan I've ever met. Um, <laughs> okay, and then over here I have raccoons, which are part of the newest pack that just came out, so I was really excited to get them. Look at how small they are. Look at the little babies. There's literally so many of them. I love them so much. Um, and they're so cute. They, like, jump around and stuff. They have a little cave down here that they sleep in. Um, so yeah, that's really exciting. And then what you all just saw was me working on our new otter exhibit, which this one. Hold on a second. I want you all to clap for me when I tell you to clap because... No, how are they getting out? Don't clap yet. Don't clap yet. Oh. Oh. It's because of these bushes. Okay. Don't clap yet. Don't clap yet. I'm not ready. Okay, see? Now everything's... I'm not done with this habitat yet. They're being really rude. I'm not done with it. It's not done. Don't clap yet. <laughs> I just wanted to show you something cool I did, but these otters are being really homophobic. How is it getting out? I need to figure this out. Is it this bush again? Because I think that's the only point of contact they have. I really think it is this bush. Okay, you know what? That's fine. I'll just- I'm gonna extend the fence a little bit. Hold on. These otters are making me do some boring stuff because they want to keep getting out instead of swimming in their pond and being cute. Anyways. <laughs> hey, Biff! How are you? Okay. I think that should be good enough. Let me double check. What? What do you mean? Just do this for now. There. That'll, that'll, that'll stop you. I knew you were coming over here again to get out. I knew it. <laughs> well, I knew it. <laughs> okay, anyways. I'm about to show you something really cool that you can do in this game. So not only can you make, like, super cool walkways like this over to, like... I have a little island. It's in the shape of a heart, by the way, in case you didn't notice that detail that I had. Um, because we love our aesthetics in this zoo. Also, if you follow this pathway... Right over here... <laughs> a little faster. You'll notice there's a very not precarious at all pathway descending that I'm still working on, so don't judge it too much. Down underwater so you have a little underwater viewing area of the otters that i also need to work on because there's a bad reflection right now you can you can clap now please clap i'm working on it it's rough i'm gonna like make it look a little bit a little bit better that's what i was working on when you all raided me so um thank you thank you for listening that's all um, now we're going to keep working on it, though, because I need to uh, make this habitat otter friendly. And it's saying they don't have enough of a hard shelter, so I might need to dig them a burrow really quickly. 
Um, thank you for the prime sub, possibly a dinosaur. Also, I'm so sorry for all of the subs that I might have missed. I'm an idiot and don't know how to separate my follow alerts from my sub alerts, even though all my friends know how to do that and tell me that they'll help me constantly. I don't want to bother them because I'm an inconvenience. So I will live this way for the rest of my life and have combined alerts. Um, so I'm so sorry that I missed them. That is all. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Um, <laughs> but thank you for the subs. No, I, I will not accept your help. There was a goblin redemption? Uh-oh. I might have missed it. Hopefully, did the mod see it? Oh, man. I'm so sorry. One of the worst times to redeem anything is during a Simsy raid. I'm just going to throw that out there. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> um, I'm a beacon of light. No, I'm... The queen of darkness i'm the goblin queen you know this i'm gonna make them a little hole over here but thank you thank you so much i'm gonna make them a nice little hole to go hang out in um oh my god olivia turned away from you all again who was it? Which one of you insulted her? Chat. I literally, I know that's the reason Kayla raids me. And look at what you've done. Wasted a raid. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming scratches for Olivia. Thank you. I would never. She's too precious. I just got my nails redone today. And Olivia really likes them because they're more scratchy this time. The last time I got them, they weren't really scratchy enough. This time, she loves them. I've won her favor back. Where did I get this shirt? I honestly, I got it off of Amazon. Um, if you look up cropped turtleneck, I think you'll find something like this if, you, if you're curious. Um... But it's like, it's actually two different shirts. This is, this is a separate piece. And then this is like a tank top. But then they come together in like one set. And I think it looks really cool together. So like, if it gets too hot, you just take off the, the turtleneck part of it. But I really like it. I think it looks good. You literally look so hot. Oh my God. Thank you. I tried to look hot today because I needed to get my confidence up. I'm going to be honest. It's been a rough week. And when it's been a rough week, sometimes you just got to try to look hot. That's the way to go. And that's so valid, besties. Uh, thank you for redeeming scratches for Olivia. Thank you so much. I've never seen this game before. It looks so cozy. I might have to play. This game is the closest thing to therapy that a game could be. I'm not even joking. I played this last night in the darkness for hours. And I can spend so much time just like making things look nice like landscaping it's so fun i love therapy games it is an expensive game but it does go on sale quite often and um black friday is coming up so i'm just saying get your deal um i get lost in this game so easily yeah me too me too for sure okay so i did create this however we have a problem and the problem is that now i need to like map out where i need to put the enclosure otherwise it will act like they're escaping so you see the problem here i need to now bring this out a little more gaming so that way when they go into that hole they won't be like, oh my god, the otters are escaping, because otherwise the game thinks that. Um, because it's dumb. It's just a silly game. I loved the look, it's killer, but my statistic brain is going, does it ride up your armpits and or get deodorant all over it? Um, so far, no. It has the sleeve in it. So, I don't know. I think the material that it is too makes it like stick to each other, if that makes sense. Is this game on Switch? Not to my knowledge. 
I'm gonna be honest, if this game was on Switch, I don't know if I'd buy it on Switch either, just because of how complex of a game it is. I think playing it on Switch might drive me mad. Um, I don't know though. I might be the only person who thinks that, but I, I do think that it would make me sad. Um, okay. All right, so we're missing enrichment. Let's see, what do we need? <gasps> should I get a duck? I think I should. I think I should absolutely get them a duck. They deserve it. Actually, why is that? Yeah, why is it doing that? It needs to be like this. Very good. It needs to be on PC for sure. Yeah, it's just like, it's so complex. Um, hey, Miss Stevenson, thank you for gifting two subs. I really appreciate that. Thank you. And thank you again, seriously, for all the follows. Low-key, it's my goal to hit 45,000 followers by the end of the year. I don't know if we'll get there, but we'll be really close regardless. So I just want to say thank you for uh, for helping us get a little closer. A $100 toy duck. Yeah, it's honestly quite expensive. <laughs> uh, let me put a bubble machine there. I think that's cute. Um, I was going to say something else too. What was I going to say? How much is Planet Zoo? Um, I think it's usually $60, but I would wait for it to go on sale. Oh, wait. It was when I clicked the submarine, I was going to tell you all something. Oh, this is frustrating. I was going to I was going to tell you all something. What was I talking about? It was like a complete subject change. Oh, oh, I remember. Um, so for those of you who watched the Sims summit and saw like project renesme i noticed that what they were showcasing was a lot like how planet zoo is so i think that they're definitely taking a page out of planet zoo's book in terms of building and that to me is very exciting because this is the most like intricate and very customizable building game i've ever played i'm not very good at it but um I think if The Sims is taking this route, I'm very excited. Very excited. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be a hard uh, mechanic to get used to, but I'm very excited for it. So that's all, that's what I wanted to say. Sorry, I don't know why my brain like forgot what I was saying. I'm not good at the building. I'm good at the landscaping, Niv. But like, if you asked me to build a barn, I would be like, what? Who? How? <laughs> I don't know how to build a barn. Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. I was going to make a little creek over here. Do y'all want to watch me make a river type thing? So exciting. <laughs> I don't know if you're actually interested in that. But I'm going to do it anyways. Uh, I don't like the way the sun is right now, though. So I'm going to fast forward until the sun comes up. Because I want to be able to see what I'm doing. Um, thank you for the follows, by the way. Welcome in. I'll give some more scritches to Olivia for those follows coming in. Oh, really, Skycat? That's exciting! Uh, that would be cool, Chirpy Cricket. That would be cool. Okay, I can see better now. Hey, Morg, how are you? Hello, hello. <gasps> Cookie's expecting offspring? Oh my god, we're about to get some baby otters. Nobody panic. Everybody stay calm. I'm literally crying. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm trying to make it kind of like step down into this, like one step at a time kind of vibe. So I can like run water down and make like kind of like a bubbling creek is what I'm trying to go for. But we'll see if I can do it. Can you cheat money in this, like, in The Sims? Yeah, so I'm playing what's called a franchise mode right now, which means that I cannot cheat money. But you can play in sandbox mode, which would allow you to, um, 
give yourself things like unlimited money, pretty much like unlimited guest happiness, like stuff like that. Um, I play that way a lot, but I felt like if I played that way right now, I'd probably get bored of it. So I decided to go with um, what what's called a franchise mode at the moment. Yeah, we're gonna have babies. Okay, this is gonna be really good. Look, he's feeding them. Are they gonna eat from the underwater feeder? Is there stuff in here? Quantity zero. Well, why isn't he filling this one up? This zookeeper sucks. Oh, he filled that one up. There's some fish. I wanna like see them swimming, but I don't know if we'll be able to. Bye! Thanks for stopping by! Hey! Uh, I'm actually naming... I was gonna do this, but now it's kind of impossible. I was gonna name animals um, if you, like, subbed or resubbed. So that's one way to get your... to get an animal named what you want. However, <laughs> I do think that I missed quite a few of them, um, unfortunately, so I don't know if I can do that anymore. So sorry, everyone. So sorry. I wish I could stay on top of that, but, you know. Um, why are the rocks green? Okay, they have moss on them, and my thinking is that because this is going to be, like, a stream of water coming down here, that, um, they're mossy, and, like, the moss is growing on them, you know what I mean? I think that that's kind of a, a fun vibe for what we got going on here. So that's what we're going for. It will make sense in a minute once I actually get like the water in. But right now I'm just working on the the rocks part. So it's kind of hard to like... It might be a little bit hard to picture what I'm trying to do. Okay, I want to move this for now and move it back in a second. So I need to put a rock here. Um, yeah, kind of like LG. Like, if you ever have seen, like, a creek or something that has, like, moss growing in it. Something like that. Yeah. Um, I'm doing amazing. Oh, thank you! I'm glad you think so. Okay, I'm gonna do, like, regular rocks over here, but then I'm gonna line them with mossy rocks. I'm very, it might be annoying to some people, but I'm very detail-oriented in this game, so I can imagine some people being like, this is not for me, but for me it's like really satisfying and uh, soothing to like spend a lot of time on something like this and then see your finished product. So, just a warning. <laughs> Thank you! Oh, welcome on in! Hey, Fresca, how are you? It is really satisfying, especially watching, like, something come from nothing. This zoo was completely empty yesterday. I just started it for funsies. And it's already, like, got this much in it, which is incredible. And it's all from, uh, from us just, uh, building little by little. There we go. Building song. I miss your chickens. It's very relaxing watching you do this all in detail. Thank you! I went to the Japan store in Epcot and the only calcifer representation was a postcard. You can't trust the mouse. I didn't go to the Japan store when I was in Epcot earlier this year, but... I'm glad I didn't, because I probably would have been disappointed. The music is soothing. Yeah, they sent me, they actually sent me a vinyl of their soundtrack. And I was like, oh my god, this is the best day of my life. Because their music is some of my favorite game music I've ever heard. Like, I was saying this earlier, but I do really think that this game doesn't get enough attention. Just in general. Like, this game is incredible. And it really deserves a lot more 
love and attention than it gets. Like, I know it's it gets some, but I feel like it should be, like, way more popular than, than it is at the moment. Like, I used to stream this all the time. It's, like, my main streaming game. I don't know if it has the nature sounds. I think it's just the soundtrack. Okay, we're almost ready for the water. I need to create the area that the water will be coming out of. So I'm wondering if I want to do, like... Something like this. Where I create, like, a rocky little shelf. That has, like, rocks on either side of it. Kind of like this. And then the water will be coming out from under there, maybe? It's not free to play. Um, you can get it off of Steam, though, if you want to look at how much it costs in your area. Something like that is cool. Um, do we have baby otters? I actually don't know. I don't think we have baby otters yet. Oh my god, wait, we do. They were born already? Just a little guy. Just a little guy going to sleep. Oh my god. Look at how small he is compared to his mom. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying the vibes here. Literally so precious. And look at how realistic it looks. Like, are you joking me? You could show me a picture of this in like a realistic background and I'd be like, that's a real otter. Honestly. Just a wee bab. Cool. What's that? Oh, that's bubbles. I was like, what? What is that? <laughs> a lot of people seem to like watching the otters from up here. This seems to be a really popular area. Are any of them going down here? Why? Why is no one going to my underwater viewing area? I will cry. Okay, we have some dying animals. Um, I need to make sure I have a vet that's coming to pick up the bodies. Do I have a vet in this zone? Don't let me into my zone. I do not. Okay, I'm gonna hire a vet so that way there aren't just piles of bodies in this habitat because a lot of these animals are getting old as sad as that is um work zone rhino okay there we go i should add some white tigers i actually do have an entire trading center full of white tigers look at this i have a bunch of them um so maybe we could those are my prized albinos and then I also have a few albino lions as well, which get you the most money in the game. Not to brag, <laughs> but she's worth 9,000 points as a bronze lion. Are you kidding me? Um, no dying animals. I'm sorry, they die eventually. Are there pandas? There are pandas in this game, but I don't have any in my zoo right now. Today, we're just kind of working on the otter area. Okay, back to this. Sorry. Got a little sidetracked for a second because of the dying animals. You can make a setting in your game, though, where animals won't die of old age, but I will warn you, overpopulation will occur. So I don't know if you truly want that. You will have too many animals. Yes, there is a cheat era. It's funny, you just asked the question right as I was saying it. It's like our minds were on the same wavelength there. Okay. Now, I need you all to be prepared for how absolutely incredible this is about to look. Okay.
I'm gonna see if I can rotate this a little bit. I don't know. Seems very splashy. But it might be just what we need. I might try a different piece first. Hmm. Rabbit splash. Not that one. Rabbit's foam? Yeah, this one. You can never have too many animals. Oh, you can! This game will punish you if you have too many animals, let me tell you. It will get out of hand really fast and you'll feel overwhelmed and sad. Or at least that's how I feel. Okay, we're gonna have to build this in a couple pieces here. Looks so cool already, thank you. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult because it's easier to make vertical waterfalls. Um, but we're gonna try our best here. Oh, I have it going the wrong way. There we go. Just so therapeutic. Okay, now to add in some splashing areas. How are you so good at this? I've played this game many times, if that helps. Like, I, I've played this game so much. Like, I played it when it was in beta. Um, it is one of my favorite games. This makes me want to get a PC just to play. <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah, I'm I'm really hyper focused right now. I'm so sorry. I know there's like a handful of like new friends in the chat, but I'm like so into like my waterfall right now. <laughs> Hopefully you understand. I think I did a pretty good job. It kind of looks like a little a little creek running into the into this area. Let me see if I can do There we go. I like it. Do I play Planet Coaster? I have, but one of my hyper fixations, one of my special interests is animals. So I think the zoo games always interested me more than the amusement park games. Closing out of Sims and opening Planet Zoo as we speak. Oh my goodness. How much would you say the game has changed since beta? Not too much, they've just been adding more content. For example, I know all of us know how much you get from a Sims pack, right? So let's just take a pack like the high school pack. You get like a handful of assets, a couple new outfits, some new furniture, stuff like that, a new world. The Planet Zoo packs, which are $10, give you like 160 new items and like new animals. So um, for $10. So, these packs, I buy every single one of them without feeling weird about it. Um, I just think that you get more content for your money out of this. And you, it's not like you're missing anything by not having a pack. You're just like, oh, I'm interested in aquatic animals, so I'm going to get the aquatic pack. Or, oh, I really like... Uh, African safari animals, so I'm gonna get the African safari pack. 
It'll give me a few extra animals, so yeah. I really like the way that they do their DLC for these games. I should save my game, by the way. Always afraid of it crashing. It's a really good game. Uh, also, I think I can unmute my alerts now. Sorry, I forgot that they were muted. So quiet. Yeah, they have a lot of sales too. They do. Okay. Okay. Is there someone down there? Still waiting to watch the otters go swimming. Is that an otter? Hi, buddy. Do you want to go diving? Oh my god. We're doing it. We're diving. Look at us go. Hehe. <laughs> Oh, that's so exciting. Hey, little buddy. We're just swimming. Hey, Galaxy Wolf, welcome in. Sometimes they have lots of sales, yeah. Also, I realized that I never uh, told you all what times I stream when you came in, because I'm a great streamer. Um, I stream every day, except for Thursdays and Fridays. Um, at 5 p.m. Eastern, so if y'all ever want to watch me, that's when. But hopefully if you follow me, it will just notify you if I'm live. I'm so good at streaming. So, such a good streamer. <laughs> His little feet, I know, so adorable. I'm like dying. Okay. Hey, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Scorches for Olivia. You're starting your biology degree next year? Oh, you're doing what I wish I would have done. I wish I would have gotten some kind of biology degree or something to do with animals. I love animals so much. Okay. Oh, I haven't heard of that. Thanks for letting me know, Dandelion. Okay. Very good. I think that this creek looks really awesome. And it adds a lot to the habitat too. Okay, maybe we should work on the guest area a little bit. Because it looks kind of bad. Uh, Malro, thank you for the follow. Scorches for Olivia. And Nightmare Caster, welcome on in. Scorches for Olivia. Water feature is adorable. Thank you. All right, let's finish our fence. I put off doing the fence because this part is boring and doesn't give me serotonin. So I, I put it off. Does anyone else do that when they need to do something, but it doesn't give you serotonin? So you just wait to do it later. The end gives me serotonin, but like placing each fence individually does not. And you might be like, oh, why is there not a fencing system? Oh, there is. I just choose to do custom fencing because I hate myself. Next question. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Um, Zoo, Sarah, literally, you're my inspiration. Everyone, you can thank Sarah for uh, this Planet Zoo stream today. That is all. <laughs> I knew it. I literally told them when I went live, I was like, I've been watching Sarah play Planet Zoo recently and I just, uh, I opened the game and now I have to play it. <laughs> Go follow my friend Sarah. She's been making a, a zoo recently too. And uh, last I checked, she had flamingos. And landscaping. Those are her two things you can look at in the zoo. So, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw you there, Bruin. I was like, oh, wee woo, hello. Okay. These raccoons are breeding so much. I might need to put them on birth control. This is getting out of hand. The Nyalas are breeding a lot too. Like, what the heck? What the heck is going on? Is there a protest? Anyways. 
There's probably a problem with the raccoons. I might need to go over there and sell half of them. I think we just have too many of them. Okay, but yours is so much nicer than mine. What? Nor. Not even. I like watching you play, Sarah. You inspired me to do more landscaping. I'll show you. My zoo, I've been doing these, like, purple flower boxes all over the place because I saw that's what you were kind of doing. And I was like, I want to do that. So, thank you. I'm stealing that. I felt very inspired. Uh, Corrigan, thank you for the follow. Scourges for Olivia, welcome in. I'm glad you're enjoying vibes. It's good to have you. Uh-oh. This is the scary part where I have to try to make two fences come together. Two is better than one. Almost gay. <gasps> Almost gay? Dr. Katie Rad, thank you so much for the 11 month resub. Oh, I appreciate it. Always lovely having you. I think I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. It's just gonna look a little jank, but listen, look at me in the eyes. Don't tell anyone. Don't, don't talk about this. This, this fencing right here, no one say a word. Or it's on site. <sighs> also, thank you for the resub, Dr. Katie Rat. Welcome back. Uh, and this girl, thank you for the follow. Scratches for Olivia. Welcome in. Um, so, yeah. Looks intentional to me. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Appreciate the support. Thank you. I'll move this tree kind of in front of it a little bit more. Just need a happy little bush to hide it. You're so true. Oh, it's supposed to start raining. Also, I'm really upset. Why is no one... There's people down here. Proof that people will go down there. Maybe I can put, like, something down there to incentivize them to come down here. Like a food stand. Like, what if I... What if I sold, like candy in the otter den i don't know i don't know i don't know <laughs> i would come down here to look at the wa the otters underwater are you kidding me this is so cool um four leaf clothes thank you for the follow scratches for olivia welcome in i think it looks awesome oh it's raining i'm gonna pop all the yellow balloons i see on site There we go. My zoo's a better place because of it. <laughs> oh, you started saying that, Dandelion? Oh my gosh. Otter Gen gift shop. I love Planet Zoo. Hey, welcome in. Want a snack? Look at my hard work. You're popping my happiness. Sucks to be you, I guess. Just don't get a yellow balloon. Actually, can I make them stop selling yellow balloons? I know there's a riot going on, but I have important things happening. Yellow balloon. There we go. My zoo will be a better place. Okay, why are we rioting? Many guests think tickets are underpriced, okay? I don't know if I would tell the zoo I think their tickets are underpriced. I think I would take the tickets and run. Alright. What's going on here? I need to check on my raccoons. I think I just have- holy cow! I have- How many raccoons are in this enclosure? Guess. Guess now. How many raccoons? Hi, egg. <laughs> 23, 27, 32, 69. 
65, 22, 13, 69, 26. Okay, let's see. 26 was the right answer. Who guessed 26? Betzeroni? Ding, ding, ding. You're the winner. I'll name the raccoon keeper after you for cr guessing correctly. Betzeroni. Now you will be permanently taking care of them. How do you feel? <laughs> okay, I have to get rid of a lot of them. I knew I should have kept them on birth control. I knew it. Okay. There's too many babies. No. Maturity. Okay, I'm selling you. Quick trade. Wait, I canceled it. Why did I do that? Shella! Shella! Okay. I'm gonna get rid of you. I'm gonna get rid of you. Wait. Did it not sort by maturity again? Okay, sorry. I'm getting rid of the old ones. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Oh no, Stinky. Okay, I'll keep Stinky and Mary. Stinky and Mary will die here. Honestly, they're both boys. That's not good. Uh, get rid of you. Get rid of you. I might just get rid of all of the adults, except for those two. Because they only like having like five raccoons, by the way. That's like their limit. They're like more than five. That's too much. Release to the wild. Okay, now how many raccoons do I have? 14? I think they're all babies except for... Oh no, there's an old one here. How did you get out of my grasp? Okay. 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 Hungry. Okay. Okay! All right. Betzeroni, it's on you. You better be taking care of these raccoons. No pressure. That sound is ominous. <laughs> now it's just a bunch of babies and two gay dad raccoons in this enclosure. And I love that. Oh, <gasps> did you just play with the box? Look at you. That was so cute. Did y'all see that? Oh, I love them. Okay. Can y'all go away? They're protesting because Mary is hungry. Uh, no, they don't go under this fence. Okay, here we go. That's like a lot. Ooh, we're having more baby rhinos. <gasps> That's exciting. Raya's pregnant. Sooty's pregnant. Shammy's not pregnant. Lebo. Lebo. Lebo's daddy dong water is lethal. We're having so many babies. Lulu's pregnant. Uh, I think it does have its own language, but I don't know what it's called. It kind of sounds like Simlish, doesn't it? I feel like my Sims would go to this zoo. Zoolish? Shark bait. Hoo ha ha. <laughs> it does sound like that, doesn't it? Okay. What? Who's escaped? Oh my god, it thinks it's escaped, but it's in the habitat. I thought I made it big enough. Oh my god. Hey, Dr. Joy, thank you for the follow. Scourge is for Olivia, welcome in. 
All right, I'm gonna see if we can adopt another female otter. Okay, you have really bad genetics, but come on in. Just so we don't have any incest. Try to prevent incest at all costs in this zoo, so. <laughs> Great minds. Oh my goodness. Imagine a zoo back, a zoo pack in The Sims. I feel like at that point, it would be insulting to any zoo simulator game to have a zoo pack in The Sims. I would be like, this is trash. I play Planet Zoo. This Anything that The Sims could do, trash. Not impressed. <laughs> I think the same about like a theme park pack too. I've seen people be like, oh my god, what if we had theme parks in The Sims? I'm like, play Planet Coaster. <laughs> like, there's other games for that. That's just my opinion. I don't know. <laughs> That's how I feel. Yeah, it could never be as good. Like, I would not waste my time. I would just go play Planet Zoo if I wanted to go to a zoo. We did kind of get a theme park in the high school pack, yeah. It's just not something we manage on our own. Okay, I like that. I think that kind of shapes the land really nicely. Oh, I forgot about this. Hey, we don't need you anymore. Please, I don't want EA effort for that. Yeah, I would much rather have a generations pack. I don't know about you. I'm excited for the infant life stage, though. I was thinking about starting a 100 baby challenge when that comes out. Would you all watch that? Because I think I might do it on Twitch. Or I could do it on my YouTube channel. I'm not sure. They have not said more on the infants. We just know that it's coming next year. So I'm excited. Yes, let's do it. Sounds like extra chaos. I'm wondering if Kayla's gonna do a, the 100 baby challenge again, but I feel like maybe she wouldn't because of how long the first one took her to do. I feel like there's some trauma there. I might be wrong, but I think I'd be very surprised. <laughs> um. Oh, welcome back. I hate when I do that. She said no, but she keeps us on our toes. Yeah. I feel like she won't do it right away, but then she'll be like, okay, I'm doing it. Oh my god, why are you up here? Hello? I don't think she will. <laughs> oh, for charity, you know what? That's a great idea. What if it was a St. Jude incentive for her to do a 100 baby challenge again? I think that's a really good way to raise money for charity. I would pay for that. I don't know about y'all, but I would pay for that suffering. People love watching their streamer suffer, don't they? That's like the best way to make her suffer. <laughs> We're uncovering her secret plans right now. She's like, Shella, shut up. <laughs> uh. Yeah, the otters are so cute, aren't they? They make like scary noises though. They're like screeching. Like, oh my god. Planet Zoo! Yeah, we're playing Planet Zoo today, Ravioli. How are you? I'm trying to make this look like it's a, a rock cave or something, and I think it's looking pretty cool. My favorite thing about this game is the rocks, though. Do y'all see this? I don't think there's any other game in this world that has rocks that do this and just blend so seamlessly together so that you can make any shape you want. Do they have sea otters? I don't think they have sea otters. We have river otters in our zoo currently. So I'm so sorry. It might not be exactly what you wanted, but I do think the river otters are cute, too. Uh-oh, one of our rhinos is about to have a baby. Oh my god, are y'all fighting? Grow up. Here we go, baby time. I love rhinos. 
I want to see the baby. <gasps> Hello! Oh my god, it's the first boy that's been born in this zoo. Nakaka. Welcome to the world, young one. Alright, I need to cage the non-alphas. So you're going to the trade center. You're the alpha. Oh, really? Did the old alpha die? Oh, okay. Well, I guess you're the new alpha. Welcome in. I know, aren't they so cute? They're literally so small. They're just little babies. He's gonna have a lot of friends too because the other ones are pregnant. Girl, are you sleeping in the water? Lulu, why are you doing that? Oh my God. We're honestly getting to a point where we're having, we're gonna have to start uh, limiting our rhinos too because we already have a herd of six, I believe. Maybe even seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. It might just be six, but like, I feel like we're gonna have to start limiting our rhinos soon too. He's just a little baby. Okay. Going back to here. I think I'm happy with how this looks. I like it. Oh, I'm so sniffly. Sorry, everyone. Is anyone else like super having like super allergies right now or is it just me because i think like the change in the weather it's like constantly going back and forth from like hot to cold hot to cold and my body's like hello 911 <gasps> thank you christine your approval is literally everything and i mean it okay now i'm gonna do some boring stuff so i apologize in advance but i'm gonna be trying to make this um What's it called? I'm gonna be trying to make this uh, rock cave look more cavey. So uh, buckle up. It's the same thing happening in California. Yeah, what's up with that? I'm like not vibing with it. I'm so tired of it. <sighs> okay. So I want this. Arigato ne. Maybe this rock is better for the job. I want this to feel a little bit more uniform. Just a little bit, because it's such an ugly shape right now. Uh, Anna, thank you for the follow. Score just for Olivia, welcome in. Oh, really, Donnie? That's the worst. Hope you start feeling better. It looks like people start walking down the stairs and then they stop. But I don't know why. Because I know they can get down here. So what's causing them to turn around? Because it's hurting my feelings, actually. This isn't too low. I'm gonna- I'll show you. I'm gonna kidnap someone. See, they can get in and out just so e See? What the heck? It's hurting my feelings. I don't think it's too long of a walk. I don't know. I'm thinking about adding like some kind of facility down here for the guests. Like, I don't know. What if I did, what if I did animal exhibits? I don't know. I could do like a frog down here or something. Although, no, I hate the upkeep of, upkeep of exhibits. I don't want that. Just kidding. I don't want that at all. It would be cool, but it's like... Oh, sorry for the on. It's like an annoying thing to keep up with, so I don't want to do that. Um, I could put in Taco Shella. <laughs> it's actually too short. Yeah, they're they're kind of annoying. You can put like snakes and reptiles in this game, but oh, I can do vending machines. Wait, let's put a pip shot juice down here, and maybe um, 
Monjo of Fritz. So people can come down here and get fries and like, you know, I think that's good. That's a good idea. I would come down to the Otter Cave for, for fries. I'd be like, heck yeah. Thanks, Vaughn. I'm glad you like my sweater. I love Monjo of Fritz. I'll even put like a picnic table. I might even move it. Mm, no, I'll, I'll put it here. Okay. I love areas like this at the zoo, always away from the sun. Yeah! Look, it's working! What are you guys gonna get? Some pip shot? Ah, good choice, good choice. Look at it go, it's working! <laughs> My scheme. My ultimate plan. Yes, you want some fries too? No, you just want some juice? That's fine. They didn't look at the otters. Oh my god, what is this? Zookeeper, please come clean this. How dare they? Hey, welcome in, sweet music woman. Okay, what can I do to get them to look at the otters? What if I had, like, a cool interactive media device down here? What if I made this a vista? Does that excite them? I have this. Maybe if I put a speaker... Oh, it's so hard. Let's make the speaker talk about otters. Are there info signs with facts and stuff? Yeah, there are a few of those. Maybe I can put some of them down here. I could put them in these little fenced off areas that I have. Oh, I'm sad by how that looks. Maybe I just put... What the heck? Why won't it let me put it down here? Ooh, there's some play stuff. Paw prints. Soundboard. Oh, I don't think I can fit the giraffe down here. <laughs> A gorilla height state? I don't want to put that. I don't want to put that. Maybe these two? Oh my god, more juice drinkers. Welcome in. Enjoy your juice. Maybe look at the otters a little bit. There's animal talk seating, too. It'd be cool if I could fit this, like... Where they could do, like, an otter talk. Oh my god, it's working! It's working! We did it, chat! It's working! They're looking at the otters! Yay! Okay. Yeah. That is good. We love to see it. I'll put in a little conservation board, too. Maybe, like, right here. So that way we can get some facts. We can do, a uh, poaching and exotic pet trade. Oh, is it only on that side? Oh, I thought it was going to be double-sided. No, I'm disappointed by that. Give me, give me the double-sided one. This one. Okay. There we go. So we can put poaching and exotic pet trade. Yeah, I noticed the keeper isn't working. I might have not. 
assigned the keeper correctly, I'm gonna look really quick. Because they're about to get fired, let me tell you. No work zone. Oh, that's why. Let me assign him to the otters. It wasn't his fault. I just failed to assign him like an idiot dum dum. Let me train my staff too. I have over 500,000 uh, profit though. Look at us go. Keeping in mind that we don't have unlimited money and we have over a thousand guests in our zoo. That's pretty good. Three, almost 3.5 star rating. We're doing a good job. Goblin Grove is a stellar zoo. We should pat ourselves on the back for this. I'll definitely have to get the DLCs when they go on sale. I think my favorite DLC is the aquatic animal one because I have a special interest in aquariums. <laughs> so being able to create like underwater uh, habitats like this is like really good for me. But um, there's a lot of DLC, a lot, a lot. So I'm sure you could find anything you, anything you wanted pretty easily. Okay, I'm trying to make this a little more structured. I want it to feel more like a cave and not like so ugly, like I didn't work on it. So this might take a minute. We might be under here for a while. Sorry, everyone. Same Z's. I didn't realize until I started working with fish now. And that's my life. Oh, I love that for you. Too bad you're a raccoon zookeeper now. Time to change career paths. That's your new calling. <laughs> Imagine going to the zoo and seeing a rock floating next to your head. I think I would run. I'd be like, what is going on here? What is going on? Could fall asleep to this. It's making my anxiety go down a ton. Oh, really? Oh, it makes my anxiety go down too. So I'm really glad that um, the same is working for you. Yeah, I don't know. I'll consider uploading Planet Zoo streams as VODs, but I don't know. I just don't know how... Uh, how often they would be uploaded, so I don't know if it would be worth it. Because I feel like it'd be weird to only upload, like, once every couple months. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe if y'all beg enough. <laughs> uh, also, uh, Jada Junimo and Laura Dancel, thank you for the follows. Scritch is for Olivia. Welcome in. Yes, they are Scholar Minerva. That's why I wanted to place them in the zoo because I haven't really played with the new pack yet. So I was excited to try one of the nighttime critters. And I gotta say, uh, they're cute, but they breed like heck. So I don't know if the raccoons are my favorite because they're like one of those animals that you'd have to like constantly be monitoring. And I don't like that. Yeah, isn't it cool, Kian? I think that this is similar to what we can expect for The Sims 5. Or at least that's what I'm hoping. Could you imagine being able to do something like this in The Sims 5? From what they were showing us, that's the, it looks like that's kind of the path they're going down. <laughs> this is going to feel so much more like a cave. Um, also, thank you for that first time sub. You know what that means, chat. Enjoy your emotes and ad-free viewing, but most importantly, enjoy your new smile. Very good, Mariah. Very good. Okay, well, let me adjust that at all. I'm here because of rock placing sounds. Perfect. Chef's kiss. Okay. 
It's also just one of those games where I feel like you can just watch silently and not feel pressured to talk at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thank you, Anon Bun. See you later. Yeah, don't feel bad if y'all have to dip. I know it's kind of getting late in certain areas of the world. Um, it was just nice meeting you all, and I hope you uh, have a good rest of your day. Okay, more people are coming down here. Our operation is working. Operation trick the guests into coming down here with french fries. Success. And this zoo is in America, so it makes sense. It's 2 a.m. in Sweden? Oh my gosh, bestie! Uh, why are you not sleeping? It is, it blends so nicely, doesn't it? Oh, we're almost done. Do I want to cut the sunlight out? I kind of do. I think that might help with, like, the glare on the glass. I kind of want to, like submerge us in darkness can confirm i use french fries bait when i'm trying to trap americans works every time covid's keeping me up oh i hope you feel better that's no fun at least you have me shella shellerson the third placing rocks over and over again You're heading to class right now? Have a good class! You're also from Sweden? Hello, welcome! Niles is trying to fight my mouse. Oh no! Niles, please! Hey, thanks for redeeming scratches for Olivia Bibble. Thank you. There's children down here. Perfect. That's what I needed. Children are the gateway to everything. Okay. Old Sheller, Master Rock Placer. That's me. You can call me Old Sheller. The spider hats. Oh, do you not like them? Yeah, they're kind of creepy, aren't they? Hi, Pacific Skyfish. It's so good to ski you. How have you been? What's popping? Can you have snakes? Yeah, I think there are some snakes. Um, you have to build uh, exhibits for snakes, though. Which are different than the enclosures. Right now, I'm just laying the foundation for what's going to be... Um, blocking out the sun. Okay. A cat cam. Yes, that's my cat, Olivia. She likes to hang out with us. She's facing us again, by the way. Y'all earned her favor. It's a big day. I think I need like one more rock like right here. Like just the tiniest little nipple of a rock. There we go. 
Okay. Now from this side, still have a little bit of work to do. Oof. Hard work pays off, doesn't it? How y'all feeling? Are we all holding up? Hard work pays off. I should be Torb's voice actor. Thoughts? I'm ready to release my molten core. Can you have fish tanks? Um, no, I don't think so. I don't think there's any, like, specific fish tanks in this game. I nailed it. Thank you. Doesn't this look so much cooler though now? I feel so much more immersed. No notes would hire. Nailed it. So busy down here now. I know, it's the french fries. I'm telling you. I got them. I hacked- I hacked the code. Oh, man. Hey, thanks for redeeming score riches for Olivia. Thank you. The rocks are looking so good. Oh, I'm glad you like them. I like them a lot, too. And it's just been so fun watching this start from a hole and look at us now look at us now isn't it neat oh fun so yeah they'll be able to see the otters like diving you can like look up and see it swimming up there that's so cool the americans do not suspect any ulterior motives <laughs> Is there a setting to put the voices off? Uh, let me look. Voice volume. Yeah, so I feel like if you were to set this to zero... Um... You might have to restart the game. But, uh... I think. I don't know. That's weird. I thought that would have done it. How'd you know? French fries stay for the otters. Sorry if this is a silly question. What's the QR code in the top right? Oh, that's for our sponsor today. It's an app called O. Um, it is on Android and iOS. And you can download it and interact with your favorite content creators. I actually posted one today asking for people to send videos of their pets. So if you wanted... I would take any video of any pet on my on my O that I posted today. We looked at them a little bit earlier. Might have just missed it with the raid. Thanks, Mariah. I'm gonna have to make that look better on the outside. Right now I'm just worried about the inside though. Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Yeah, you can use it now! Perfect! Feel free to submit. I demand all cute cat and dog videos. We also got a snake video too, that was a cool one to see. Someone also posted a video of their horses on the last one I did. I was like, what? You have horses? Literally so jealous. There we go. There we go. It's looking really good. I've been saying it like glue. 
I say ooh or oh. You did get it stuck in my head. Look at what you've done now. When I asked them how to say it, they were like, either way. So I say ooh more often. All right. Yeah, this looks good. And I like how the, the rock kind of comes down a little bit here. That's me makes it look like it's been like broken out or something. I really like that. I think that's good. Um, yeah, you can post a video of a pet snail. That would be cool. Oh my god, they're eating the french fries. It's working. It's working. Is that a yellow submarine? Yeah, there is a, a little submarine down there. Just in case the rhinos want to play with it. Did I say rhinos? I read rhino right here. I meant otters. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, let's make it look better from out here now. It looks amazing. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I I always apologize when I'm just placing rocks because I feel like it might not be the most exciting thing, but I think like those that get it, get it. It's so satisfying to watch the rocks slowly go into place. You know what I mean? Like if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. <laughs> It's a large part of this game, don't worry. <laughs> I'm here for rock placing, very good. I kind of want to play Planet Zoo more. Would y'all be down for that? I'm technically one of their creators now. I got into the Planet Zoo Frontier Creator program before I became a game changer. <laughs> Sad. Yeah, maybe we'll play more. Hey, Misha. So aesthetically pleasing. This is Goblin Grove Zoo, by the way. So that way y'all can get attached to it. Goblin Grove. Just a cute little name. Don't worry. I'm not saying that we're not going to keep playing The Sims. Because we're doing a legacy challenge right now in The Sims. That's really fun. But this might become another option for us. And we still have Coral Island too. So we, I don't know. Am I in my variety era? I feel like I've been playing a lot of variety recently. Uh, Lady Lionette, thank you for the follow. Scourges for Olivia. Welcome in. Shell has been poached. I don't think they care. Sad. Who knows? I've been sniped. Right from under their noses. Uh, Small Shrub, thank you for the follows. Riches for Olivia, welcome in. Thank you. No, I I started this zoo yesterday, Fresca. I was feeling a little bit anxious yesterday with all of the world events happening, especially here in the US. So I decided to uh, play Planet Zoo. And uh, I'll let you all know, it's an effective method to, uh, you, you can put on like a stream or a podcast and just place rocks and forget the world exists. Cause that's what I did yesterday. And who boy was that effective? I, in fact, did forget the world existed. If I gift a sub, can I get another Fresca stump? Yes. And I actually already know the stump that I will name you after. There's one in the tortoise habitat.
That's so valid, Christine. Did you find anything good? Our zoo isn't even that big yet, and I'm getting constant, like, alerts. Oh, wait, all the baby tortoises are growing up. Oh, that's what that is. They They've they were the first animals I placed in this zoo, and they still weren't grown up yet. But now they're finally growing up. Well, that's exciting. Hey, Sardu Alley, thank you for the follow. Scritches for Olivia, welcome in. Thank you. Wow. All right, Fresca. Thank you for gifting a sub. Is this stump good with you? It's right at the front of the zoo in the first habitat. I'm making a glowy gyroid garden area and I found the perfect path for it. Very good. Very good. All right. This is no longer broken yellow ipe tree O2. This is now Fresca. The stump. <laughs> Very good. I love our little heart-shaped island. It's so cute. I covered it with bamboo, too, so that way if you were at the zoo, you'd be like, Oh my god, what's over there? I want to go see it. It invokes the adventure, you know? Do I really want to do this entire wall with rocks? Not really... But am I gonna do it anyways? Yes, I am. Cause I'm stupid. And I don't listen to my serotonin sometimes. Cause I know it's gonna look awesome and I'm gonna be like, oh my god, I'm so glad I did that. So, that's why. Where are you? I hear Tony laughing. Why is he having so much joy right now? Without me? What is he doing? <laughs> I'm enthusiastic and in the zone. That's one way to put it. I like that better. How dare he? Does he think he can enjoy life when I'm not there? And be his own individual person? As if. <laughs> As if! <laughs> Ugh. Is that going through the road? No. Okay. That's illegal! No having fun without me. Exactly. Y'all get it. Y'all truly get me. Okay, this isn't actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's really not. It's all about placing rocks. Rotating them. Placing rocks. Rotating them. I'm not going like all the way up to the edge. Red flag! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yo, Kaplan! Thank you for the eight month resub. Welcome back. Can we get some love and hype in the chat? Thank you again, everyone, for like all the subs and resubs today. I'm so sorry if I, uh, Missed any of them. Never my intention, but... You know, sometimes a girl gets overwhelmed and feels very shy. And when that happens, things get missed. So I'm really sorry. <laughs> also, hi, Anna. Hello, hello. Planet Zoo Day. Hear that with being overwhelmed? Yeah. I get overwhelmed very easily. Very easily. But I'll never show it. Well, at least I try not to, but I actually do show it a lot. 
I never show it, I say, as I constantly am like, uh, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I'll tell it, but I'll never show it. Uh. Constant notifications. What's going on here? Oh my god! <gasps> Skycat! Thank you for gifting five subs. What the heck? Thank you. I hope everyone enjoys their emotes and ad-free viewing. No, now you won't get any uh, Planet Zoo interruptions. That's exciting. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Been lurking and enjoying cozy vibes. Very good. I hope you're having a good day, Anna. Very good. You know what's kind of funny? I feel like tonight I might record for YouTube and then I'll probably go and play Overwatch. Which is completely opposite vibes. Or actually, I don't know if I'm going to play Overwatch tonight. Because I have to watch Bachelor in Paradise. There's two episodes that came out. But I haven't seen either one yet. And I love watching other people suffer. On reality TV. It's so fun. So maybe, maybe I'll do that instead. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that many choices. Um... Alyssa, thank you for the follow, by the way. Scritch is for Olivia. Welcome in. Um, sometimes I feel like a duck calm on the surface, but paddling like heck underwater. That's a really good description. Yeah, I feel like that a lot, too. I relate. Uh, loving your stream tonight. It was just what I needed. <gasps> Thanks, Sky Cat. And Lid Cat, thank you for the follow. Scritch is for Olivia. Welcome in. Your friend worked on Overwatch? <gasps> no way! What did they do? Were they like a character artist? Were they a game designer? Like what what kind of stuff did they work on? That's so exciting. Hi, Sleepy! You playing in the background as I'm doing final editing to my photos for my exhibit at the end of the month is so soothing. <gasps> you have an exhibit? Is it for like um, a photography competition or something? Like what what's it for? That sounds so exciting. Literally, my question is, why is everyone in my chat always the coolest person I've ever met? Like, every single person, I'm just like, what the heck? You all are so cool. How does this keep happening? Oh my gosh, I bet it was... Was it Kiriko? I like Kiriko. That's exciting. She's a very loved character already. Or maybe it was Junker Queen. <laughs> yes! Oh, love that. That's so cool. Takes one to know one. A cool person. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I'm not cool and amazing. I'm... A goblin. Technically, we're all goblins, I guess. Yeah, I forgot to tell you all. Um, if you follow me, you're in the That's goblin illegal. horde, so welcome. Hype, Rish Blanky. Oh, thank you for the 100 bits, Fresca. Is there a hype train? In this economy? There is. It's level 3, oh my god. Y'all ain't about to make me whip out Photoshop, are you? Because I don't think my computer can run it. <laughs> uh, not at Plain and Zoo at the same time. I think I placed all the rocks I need to. Look at how cool this looks. We did it. It really is rock placing simulator. It is. I'm your goblin queen. It's true. Ew, stinky, gross, disgusting. Okay, yeah. If you all, it. if you all happen to be a level five, I'll do it next stream. A DreamWorks animator. That is really cool. I'm do in uni doing a photography course, and part of my class is we're in groups when we all have to pick a theme, and then we all come up with our own ideas from the theme and book our own gallery and stuff. <gasps> That's so cool! What a, like, actually cool experience to have. I hope you have the most amazing time. He works on Woody Woodpecker. That is really cool. That's a cool flex. 
I'm just going to add in a couple of small rocks here and there to kind of like give this stream a little bit of pizzazz. Uh, this is so relaxing to watch after a long day of midterm studying. Ugh. I hope your midterms go well. I hated midterms. I don't know if there's a single person out there that likes midterms. But, uh, I hate- I'm not good at, like, test taking in general, I think. Um, thank you all for the hype train, by the way. I appreciate it. Um, good night, Mind of Lean. See you later. I'm a cancer research coordinator. I think it's interesting, but I bore people when I talk about it. Um, I think that's really cool, Fresca. So there. Take that. Also, I don't know if I thanked you for your bits, Betsaroni, but thank you. Don't even think about being nice to me right now. Oh my Yo. god. Yo. Scratches for Olivia, please. Just for you, Sirena. Oh, is this Sojourn? Sojourn is so meta right now. And what I mean by that is if someone on your team isn't playing Sojourn, they're throwing. She's like, you have to play her <laughs> to win. Um, hi, Trash Hunter. Sojourn has the thickest thighs I've ever seen in my life. I would like to feel them. Just saying. <gasps> you got early birthday gifts? That's exciting. Sorry, I feel like I have cat fur in my nose. I'm starting to get a little sniffly. Or okay, let's go ahead and decide what type of foliage we want to be out here. Because I've been doing like kind of foliage breaks. I'm thinking these fig bushes are kind of cool. Maybe I'll have a few of those. Oh, I don't want to align to surface. What did I walk into? Um, a planet zoo stream. What's up? Welcome in. I don't know. I'm gonna go find them. I feel like my cat is in my nose right now. You can hear me start getting stiffly. So sorry, everyone. So sorry. <laughs> oh, perfect, Macchiato. Perfect. I love that for you. Yeah, no worries. See you, curly hair. Laters. I am- what day is it today? Is today Wednesday? I was gonna say I'll see you all tomorrow, but that's a lie. I won't. I don't stream on Thursdays. See you on Saturday! <laughs> Ugh. Or you can watch my YouTube videos. And then you'll see me any day you want, technically. Um... Oh, you came back from dinner to hear me talking about thighs? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a- it's just a character in a game that I play. Overwatch. There's a character that has some really juicy thighs. And, uh, I would like to... ...feel them. That's all. You know. Nothing weird about that. Same, though. <laughs> Friday- or Thursdays are when I watch your Among Us uploads. Yes, very good. Today I uploaded our next Not So Berry episode, so if anyone here likes watching Let's Plays, I'm just gonna self-promote in my own stream and tell you to go watch my, uh, Let's Play. That's all, thank you. <laughs> Do I ever stream Overwatch? Not really. Um, the Overwatch community and the Sims community, like, don't really overlap. However, I do owe my chat an Overwatch stream with Egg. 
and we keep saying like oh yeah whenever we do our overwatch stream and then we just haven't done it yet so like who knows when that will happen it will be an after dark stream too so it'll be super late we'll probably be feral um it will be an experience of a lifetime like you will never see us acting that way ever again um so i'm gonna say you probably won't want to miss it but i don't know when it's gonna be so i'm not family friendly don't tell your parents <laughs> yeah i will not be family friendly either like i'm not gonna be like cursing up a storm but i'm not gonna be like a family friendly streamer that evening It is rough out there, isn't it? It's like a, a scary place full of gamer bros. I like this. I think the landscaping here is nice. And then I'm gonna do the Sayer Classic, a little planter box. I'm here for the Rochella Overwatch era. Emily, are you really? Oh my God. I have a fan. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day, by the way. Can we get a shout out, Anna, for uh, for Emmy? When you have a second, go follow my friend. She's really cool and I like her a lot. And if you don't follow her, I'm taking that as a personal uh, attack on my livelihood. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Okay. We're doing a good job. I like I like the landscaping peninsula I made there. I think that's nice. Should do something over here too. Why are all these people dropping their balloons? The ozone layer is suffering. Yeah. He needs to start playing it again. I know. Literally, Sarah has gotten us all into playing this game. Who would have thunk? Everyone's like, we have to play. She's a she's a trendsetter. An influencer, one might say. Literally. Wait, did I is that okay it's not. Will it if I do it here? Oh wait, that's actually kind of cool though. That is definitely a hazard. Um, but I'm okay with it. Because it looks nice. Hehe. <laughs> um, Sarah's a Canadian hero. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, do you want to see? So I have this otter habitat. And uh, it looks normal, but then uh, there's actually an underwater, um, sorry, this is a little trippy. There's a little underwater viewing cave. Isn't that so fun? Oh, we're all talking about how you're a trendsetter, Sarah, because all of the simmers want to play uh, Planet Zoo now. Hi, Miv. I'm playing my emotional support CLC save, eating Dorito. Very good. I want to go to there. <laughs> Uh, cannot wait for the feral stream. We gotta hype it up, Egg. I have like over 70 hours in this game from two weeks and it's 90% because of Sarah. I believe it. I believe it. Isn't this so cute? I had to bribe them down here with french fries though. Um, this is an American zoo, so I thought french fries would work and I was correct. Um, french fries and soda. And then they started coming down here, so I did a good job. I didn't get to go to the San Diego Zoo, Miv. <laughs> but that's nice. I want to go someday. Maybe if uh, TwitchCon is held in San Diego again, I'll go to the zoo this time. <laughs> Sarah knew what the- or Shella knew what the guests really wanted. Chat, do you like chaos? Do you like After Dark? What about Washed Up Simmers? How about Real Simmers? Well, do I have the stream for you? Shella and Egg Overwatch. <laughs> the Eggshell stream. 
That's our that's our uh, pet our what's it called our couple name our ship name eggshell. Shella plans you sends you stuff. You're cool as heck. What even no? As long as I can get ketchup with the fries. Uh yeah, we're eggshell, 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 eggshell. We should egg. We should make like a follower emote for our chat to use just for eggshell streams and we just like upload it for that stream we have to we'll talk about this we should decide what it is <laughs> what if it was just egg an egg and then a shell <laughs> eggshell eggshell it's an incredible ship name i know we're meant for each other honestly what is happening here can you people learn how to walk Anyways, what time is it? Oh my god, it's almost 8 p.m. What the actual heck? Have I really been playing this game for that long? In this economy? Where has the time gone? No, for real. I did not think it was that late. Oh my god. The way I could like stream for another couple hours though, like I really could. I shouldn't though. I want to record tonight. Frick. Been live for four hours. If Gira was here, I'd go to 420 just for her. Yeah, time moves faster when you're playing Planet Zoo. I swear. This is some like game crack or something. I don't know. Where does my. Where does the time go? It went fast for me, at least. I don't know. Maybe it didn't go fast for everyone, but definitely went fast for me. I'm gonna put some fountain bamboo in here. I want this to feel a little bit more like a secretive path. There we go. And then that way you can't really see the staff stuff either. I need to work on this area too. Because she's a. Uh, she's rough. Uh, thank you for redeeming Spurgeous for Olivia. Yeah, I love Planet Zoo. Really, Kristen? Oh my god. Bye, Alyssa. See you next time. Just panicked and looked at the time even though I know I just started playing. It's 3 a.m. in Poland. I can't sleep right now. Uh-oh. Or nor. Okay. Everyone, as much as I would love to stream forever, um, I think it's time for me to go because I'm now just becoming aware that I might be hungry. I have really bad introspection. So sometimes I can't tell when I'm hungry, but I think I am. <laughs> I think you should, Miv. I would literally watch you play Planet Zoo. Not that I don't watch you already, but like, I would love to watch you try to figure this game out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Iatastic, thank you for the follow. Score which is for Olivia, welcome in. Okay. I just need to know, would you all want me to stream this again sometime soon so we can check up on this zoo? Look at how cool it looks from this far away. We- all we did today was one exhibit, by the way. We just made this otter exhibit, but I did say that it's like a more complicated exhibit because we decided to do an underwater viewing area. Yes? Okay. Well, follow for more Planet Zoo, Sims, Dreamlight Valley content games like that <laughs> also uh i'm considering putting this vod on my youtube channel 
because everyone wants it so bad. But y'all have to watch it. If you're going to ask for it, you have to watch it. So um, subscribe to my YouTube channel too. <laughs> I mostly post Sims content there, but you know. You know. This was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, follow me on Twitter and stuff too for updates. Um, also, we have a Discord server for updates too. Um, oh, wrong button. <laughs> Why, Chella? Happy. <laughs> uh, yes, I like Miv Smella. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, y'all should get the game. We have a Planet Zoo channel, so if y'all do end up getting the game, feel free to post in there uh, anything about what you're doing. I might post in there too. So yeah, today was a lot of fun. Seriously, thank you. It was so nice to meet everyone who's new to the stream, if you're new here. 07, nice to meet you. Thank you seriously for all of the new subs tonight and everything. I really appreciate it. We're almost halfway to our monthly goal, which is wild. So thank you for your support. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you all. This is like a lore drop. This is important information. The next time you see me, things will be different. That's all I have to say. I'm glad you like it, Donnie. Thank you. Uh, the next time you see me, things will be different. So, um, yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. Guess you'll have to come to Saturday's stream. Or, uh, I might, I might post it somewhere. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like my shirt. Thank you. Shella Ye Yellow Era is upon us. Absolutely not. Um, so yeah. Ah, <sighs> things will be different. Ha, 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 ha. Evil laugh, evil laugh. Okay, let's go find someone to raid, shall we? Um... Back to Twitch. Hee hee hoo hoo. That's ominous. <laughs> it wouldn't be a shell of stream if I didn't make you all uncomfortable, would it? I'm looking to see who's live. There's so many people live. Oh my goodness. Actually, no, there's not. Who do we write? Pokimane's playing Overwatch 2. No, I, I'm too scared to rate her. Uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Olivia, what are you looking at? Um... Ginor... Let's go raid one of my friends who's playing Animal Crossing right now, which I know is a game that I haven't played in a while, but I feel like we would like to maintain the cozy vibes, right? So let's go raid my friend Soph. She's playing Animal Crossing right now, and I think she's doing Villager Hunt Bingo, which is really fun. So let's go say hi. Make sure you drop her a follow. Give her a smile. And uh, yeah, I will see you all on Saturday where everything change. Goodbye! Thank you for watching my YouTube video. I don't know what I'm singing. This is my outro, but thanks. See you next time. Love you. Bye!